Hi Leos, welcome back to Ayanigma channel. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for November 15 to 21. I'll see the current energies around you. How does this person feel for you? What's going to happen next? Upcoming events, help guide guidance in a nutshell. Please know that this is a general reading. May or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. For accurate personal readings, white prayer spells and premium charge crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. Check out all feedbacks, reels, and uh, monthly horoscopes for free on my instagram stay in tune with me through instagram so follow my instagram also if you want to be a part of my manifestation workshop starting 25 november foolproof manifestation method of manifesting anything quickly reach out to me for more details on whatsapp or email the details are given down below in the description box sun moon rising or venus sign in leo's cross watchers Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something from the past you're entangling yourself in because they are not leaving you or you're mentally stuck on someone. I feel like it's time that you're going to release this pattern and finally fall into something very beautiful and something new in your life. I feel there's something new that's coming into your life that's going to change everything. Eight of Wands is also some new opportunity rushing in towards you with a lot of attraction. All right. So especially in your love life, I feel like there's someone that is coming towards you with a lot of passion, but you're entangled. You're comparing the new with the past person. Stop doing that because I feel like the universe wants you to experience all the good things in life. So take this blessings uh, from the universe. What I'm seeing is you're still holding on to the past. Okay, maybe you have this fear that you don't want to go through the same old experience, the trauma that you faced really badly again. You don't want to go through the same drama again. This is something that's causing you intense pain in your head. And you may have let go of the past person. You may have forgotten this person, but somewhere the stress that came with the relationship that you had, the tension that came in, the burden that came in, the depression that came in, this is something you don't want to go back in. This is why you're afraid of, you know, falling in love with someone back again. But I'm seeing a life-changing experiences coming in with a Pisces coming in. But I'm feeling like this is not going to be the same experience as you have had in the past. This is completely different. This is completely new. So get ready for this awesome new beginning. I feel like you have to do something about cutting the ties with the past, cutting the cords with the past. This is something very, very important for you right now. Some of you dealing with a cancer here. Leo's, it's really important because I feel like it's all in your mind. It's not in reality, truly. It's all in your mind right now. And your mind is playing the <coughs> devil's role right now. Okay. So what I'm seeing is there's someone new that has a crush over you. And you may also have a crush on this person. But the problem over here is that you can't trust the journey. Considering what happened with you in the recent past, you're fearful of trusting this journey. You're afraid that God will not protect you once you fall into something um, bad in this. So write down in the comment section, I believe in God. I'm going to confidently move forward in my life with new love. Okay. I surrender to God. Write that down. The Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. You're going to meet this person of, through a friend of friends. You're going to meet this person in a party or a celebration or in a book place or in a library or in a student's place like school or education somewhere like that so you're going to meet this person over there and when you meet you will feel extremely lively with the way they talk they're very open communicative lively positive they like to talk about all the positive things you will feel really good and somewhere there is the sense of connection as it, as if you know this person already from the past that's how you're going to feel with this person you feel extremely balanced and i feel like with this person coming into your life you feel like there is a ray of hope there is happiness here you might fall in love with this person quickly and that is something that's scaring you because falling in love with quickly is also it also means falling out okay as soon as you fall in you fall out so it is better that you should be 
uh, careful. Okay, it's important for you to take one step at a time because I feel like you fall in love very fast, which is why you're finding it really hard to take things forward in a more smooth pattern. The King of Swords. They're highly logical. This person is highly logical. Are you still in, in are you in love with your past person still? Write down the comment section, let me know. There is someone that you've fallen in love with. This person is highly logical, intelligent, and smart. And they are someone that will take their time falling in love. They will not be quick. This is someone that is good in communication and successful in life. Queen of Cups, you're falling in love with someone. Be careful who you're falling in love with. Maybe this person is just not that into you. I feel you are the one that's falling over this person faster than you should. Okay? So this is why you have to be slow. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. One thing is for sure, they're not going to hurt you. But yes, you may need to be careful. And let me tell you that whoever you're in love with right now, whoever you're falling in love with, this person has someone else in the picture here. They are not in love with you. They're not in love with this person yet. But there is a possibility here. But they are already dealing with someone else physically so they are there is an involvement this person is involved with someone physically on and off connection and they're keeping it secret from you so you may need to figure out more before you fall in love with this person okay that i'm not seeing this connection moving forward actually leo someone else is coming in maybe this is a scorpio you need to get rid of as soon as possible i'm not seeing this happening but yes control your heart you may fall for the wrong person maybe this is something that happened in the recent past and that universe wants to you know give you a little rundown so that you know that you don't have to repeat the same cycle again falling in love too fast will result into a setbacks your life is definitely transforming. Someone I feel like was coming towards you with more sexual energy with more than more loving energy. Okay, that, that is something that you have to be careful about, the red flags. And then I'm seeing the transformation is happening. Moving forward in life, you have someone else that is coming towards you. They could be married already. So be cautious, okay? Or they are someone that will flirt with you a lot. They will take a lot of interest in you. But you may not know about this person's relationship status. Try to figure out that also. They could be a Cancer. They could be a Taurus. They could be a Scorpio. This is someone that will be highly vocal about their feelings. They will be attracted to you. No. Leos, you have to be really careful. Don't fall for it too quickly. Because I feel like you expect marriage. Every time you expect marriage and it doesn't happen. This is hurting you again and again and again. Let's be honest. I feel both of them are a major disappointment. So universe wants to uh, beware you that you have to not open up your heart until someone shows growth in their feelings for you. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to fix relationships. It's not your duty. If someone is showing you red flags, walk away. Nah? But you're still stuck between these two options. You're like, oh, okay. If it's not this option, it could be this person that's marrying me. No, you have to wait a bit. You have to keep it to yourself. Stay in your senses until you meet the right person. You're, you're in too much hurry. It's because of the past. You haven't fully healed from it. This could be a specific read. Someone needs to hear this. Uh, there could be a Pisces interested, but not very interested. So be careful, okay? Be very careful. So I'm also seeing there is this one person that's juggling you with someone else. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. The universe is telling you to go slow. This is a slow card. This is a slow card. The universe is asking you to wait. Slow down. Take one step at a time. You don't need to rush. If you want something serious, patience is something that you should, you know, hold on to. Patience pays. So have some patience, take some time and focus on your goals, focus on your dreams until then, focus on your well-being until then. You still have a lot of time for the right person to come into your life, but all these two options are not good for you, okay? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, the outcome is going to be marriage. You will get married, that's for sure, but maybe not these two options not these two options you have to wait a bit you may need to see for the right uh, person in 2024 you might meet the right person in um, another country if you're traveling in another city this could be a long distance relationship definitely a long distance relationship 
okay you're going to meet someone at a long distance with whom you can expect a new relationship a new chapter in your life with it's beautiful this person is highly experienced in loving and caring a whole new chapter is going to change your game and you will feel much more at peace and happiness will be there so have some patience because in the end of the day, what you're receiving is the biggest blessing that you always wanted. Universe is going to bless you with marriage, but with the right person. So have some patience, okay? So maybe you're going to meet this new person through internet. But when you meet this person, there's a hint that you'll feel extremely confident with them. You will have this feeling like this is the one, okay? Yeah, so luckily... Patience is paying in such a way that you're going to end up with an emperor or an empress, someone that is very successful, someone that is highly uh, authoritative, someone that is um, a name, a sensation, someone that a lot of people want to be with because they have a lot of money, but what they want is love. So they want you because you are offering love. Okay, and this person is someone that brings a lot of healing and stability in your life. You are their wish come true. You are their wish fulfillment. This could be an Aries that's coming after you. And once they make a decision to have you, there's no way back. They're going to be your uh, father figure or mother figure like that. You're their dream. You're their wish. You're the one that heals them. You're the one that brings peace and harmony in their life. You're the one that means a lot to this person. You're the one that they were dreaming about all this while and they've met you. But there's something to do with you traveling and then meeting this person. There's something to do with traveling between the two of you. Traveling is going to revive you, make you feel happier and make you feel complete. So traveling is something that you need to do quite often to make yourself feel better. I'm seeing a whole new beginning in your life is happening, but expand your search criteria. Sagittarius may be coming in. Wow. Yes, you're going to meet this person at a long distance. Someone from a long distance is the one. So have some patience. It might take some time. It might take two months. It might take Feb 2024. But it will happen only if you keep patience and not keep uh, begging for marriage or commitment. Like have some patience. Like evolve. Let it evolve. So I feel like this is what you want. You're very, very, very uh, headstrong when it comes to what you want. You know that you're only looking for marriage. You're not looking for flirting. You're not looking for commitment. You're not looking for anything relationship. You want marriage. But because you have such high criteria and you don't, you want to skip the journey that makes a person fall, fall in love with someone. If you try to skip the journey that leads to marriage then you will never get to this point for once if you really want marriage you have to follow the journey that will be having ups and downs so if someone is hurting you already and showing you red flags is not going to be the one you should be immediately backing away because this is what you want but you have to go through the journey okay don't think that you met the person the first day and the next day you guys are getting married it's not gonna happen like that leos so stay focused stay in the positive energy and keep growing becoming a better version of yourself by each day so that you fall in love with yourself before someone else does marriage is something that is 100 percent sure there is no doubt in it okay but have patience there's someone that's going to think about you 24 7 i feel this is the one that's going to come towards you okay so have some patience. Right now, there are two people you're dating or you're going to date that you have to be very careful about. Be cautious. Your treasure is at hand. I feel this person is someone that will be your dream come true, your treasure, your everything, your trophy, because they treat you like one. So have some patience. Yeah, most people are just trying to waste your time, actually. They're coming in to waste your time. I feel you're going to end up with someone which most people just dream about. You're going to end up with a perfect mate, with a perfect person. Perfect looks, perfect background, perfect status, perfect position, perfect health. I feel you're going to get a full package in the end of the day if you wait more. You came closer than anyone. You're someone that this person will express automatically that you are special and you came closer to them. You open the spiritual side of this person. When you come into their life, okay, this person will be going through an extreme uh, disaster. This person is going through something. I feel when you come into their life, they will feel healed. 
you're going to heal this person somehow. So somehow either you're going to help this person in a disaster, okay? And that's why they value you, they respect you, but something spiritual comes from you that this person just cannot ignore. Write down the comment section, say, I'm divine, I'm spiritual, I'm healer. Leo, this is your soulmate. You guys heal each other on another level. This is your soulmate. Universe is going to give you a message. They will be going through a disaster when you guys meet. You will help them with becoming more spiritual. Prosperity. This person brings in a lot of prosperity in your life. They're very rich and successful. Um, and they're loving and caring. And they'll help you grow in your career as well with ideas that they have. So there's a positive shift in your life. You can see this is written here. Positive shift in your life. Oh my gosh, double confirmation. This is your soulmate, guys. This is your soulmate. And there's no doubt in it. This person is your soulmate. And it's going to be a beautiful meeting between the two of you. It's going to be a breakthrough meeting between the two of you. You're going to meet your soulmate. And it's confirmed by God, universe, angels. All right, let's see the signs coming in. Write down in the comment section, I'm waiting for my soulmate. I will wait for my soulmate. I'm patient, I'll wait for my soulmate. You have Libra, you have Taurus, you have Virgo, you have Scorpio, you have Taurus again, Taurus twice. Okay, so this person is definitely way very very well off okay from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel for you whoever you're dealing with right now leos okay aries aries is like changed i feel they don't want to take it forward for some reason they're not the same okay the taurus is more about me myself and now i they're having a crush on you but they're not in love gemini is pushing this connection away they're defending their feelings Cancer person is also looking for other options. The Leo person wants marriage. The Virgo person sees you as a perfect match for them. Probably the other one. Libra is wanting to make efforts towards this connection. Scorpio is in love. They find you very beautiful or handsome. Sagittarius wants to offer you some sort of a financial support. I'm also seeing this person is quite kind towards you. They're liking you. They might propose you. Uh, Capricorn is not the one. They're moving away from you. Aquarius feels a strong bond towards you. Friendly, strong bond towards you. They want to nurture this connection. Pisces feels like you're too stiff and so difficult to handle. Somewhere they want you to like calm down, become more gentle so that they can open up with you more. They're a little uh, insecure. Okay. Oh, so many. Okay, so I'm seeing you're going to have uh, love and respect from all the directions in your life. You will definitely grow. And this could be a Pisces. You have a new beginning coming in. Okay, a new beginning is there. A lot of opportunities, but make sure that the endings have happened. If you keep dragging a connection that you already know is not going to work out just because you don't want to be left alone, don't do that. You might miss out on great opportunities and love coming in. Love is definitely in the corner. Um, around the corner angels are attaching you towards your soulmates bringing you closer and stay attached with the nature somehow your person really loves the fact that you guys have uh, similar likings and dislikings dream this is your dream person this is a dream come true wow something to do with east someone's coming from canada someone's from me from america england it italy Austria, Australia. Algeria. Someone's name is Ashley. Someone's from Auckland, Netherlands. Someone's name is Amber. India, Ecuador, Ethiopia, Egypt. Carmen could be the name. Caroline. 
Casey. So these are some names that I'm getting. Rest of the names you can think of, please write down in the comment section. Any country name, any person name, C-A-A-E-E. -E. C, A, and E. These are the letters. E twice, A twice. So that's about it, Leos. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful reading. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to Ayaligma. Bye.